Far Cry 5 since its launch has been heavily debated within the community. Some absolutely love it and others not so much and prefer some of the older Far Cry games. Far Cry 5 made some really bold and big changes to the Far Cry formula and decided to experiment with a lot of different elements of the game and for some people it worked and for others it didn't. I enjoyed Far Cry 5 but some of the changes made in the game I really didn't like mostly involving the story and mission progression. For starters the obvious one, the mute protagonist. If you've watched me for a while now, you would know I really don't like mute protagonists because there's no main character presence or character to connect and relate to, and it causes the entire story to fall on the shoulders of the villains and side characters. Now the Seed family are decent villains and they really stole the show when it came to the story, but the side characters were pretty awful and the characters you're supposed to care about and feel emotion for really don't come across that way, because one, our character doesn't talk and feel like a real human being, and two, the relationship between the main character, the deputy, and his co-workers is not a very strong one. And quite frankly, I didn't feel any form of emotional attachment to the main character or side character, and that's in large part thanks to the mute protagonist. Now don't get me wrong, mute protagonists work well in some games, but in Far Cry 5 and New Dawn, it does not feel right to me at all. And even though the main characters like Ajay and Jason weren't the most likable characters, I'd still prefer them and their twisted personal stories over the deputy any day. The story progression was also a really weird change in Far Cry 5 where you have to like fill out this progression bar in each region to trigger a kidnapping and it's the same deal with the final confrontation with the villain as well which not only feels unrealistic but it also kills the pacing and flow of the game. A lot of the time I would just be out and about exploring and messing around and then all of the sudden I'm pulled out of the freeing open world by the kidnapping and it completely kills the momentum of the game. It's also just unrealistic and frankly ridiculous how the deputy manages to get kidnapped by every villain after they complete a certain amount of side quests and outposts. However, there were also some new changes to Far Cry 5 that I really enjoyed and I think paid off, like adding new creative weapons like the shovel launcher, allowing for vehicle purchases and customization, and adding melee weapons. The gameplay in Far Cry 5 is undeniably smooth and polished and easy easily has the best gameplay in the series. There's way more vehicle selection and you can personalize your own cars and helicopters and spawn them in and driving them around, making traversal easier. The wingsuit was refined and improved, making it a lot more viable than in the previous titles. The guns for hire system was implemented with some really fun companions like Boomer and Cheeseburger who just slaughter enemies for you. The main story was made completely playable in co-op as well, so you can play with friends, which was quite frankly one of the biggest and best changes in Far Cry 5 and took the Far Cry experience to a whole new level. And although Montana wasn't as interesting as let's say Kirat, they did a good job of creating varying environments, wild animals, and tons of little things to do when playing the game, like finding stashes and hunting. Granted though, the game is pretty dead and boring in the post game however. But there were just a lot of little things Far Cry 5 smoothed out and refined gameplay wise and it was a great improvement. And Far Cry 5 so easily could have been the best game in the series. I mean, even the arcade mode was a huge addition. You can play on community created maps and create your own as well. That was a fantastic new addition. But really where Far Cry 5 fell short was the story. Joseph Seed was not a bad antagonist by any means. In fact, I think him and his family are the only good parts about this story. And the rest just feels boring. Boring protagonist, boring side characters, and a horrible story progression system that breaks the immersion and forcibly pulls you out of the fun open world was what disappointed me and ultimately led to me seeing Far Cry 5 as just okay or decent. If this game had a story like Far Cry 3's paired with the gameplay, it's easily the best in the series, but when you take these bold risks and experiments in this kind of game, you're bound to have some success and some failure. Which is why I'm so looking forward to Far Cry 6 because they can hopefully take what was good about Far Cry 5 and what was bad and use that to make Far Cry 6 possibly one of the best games in the series. I mean, to me, it's already sounding really good, and they learned their lesson with the mute protagonist, it would appear, so I'm very hopeful for the game, as I'm sure a lot of you are as well. Far Cry 5 was the guinea pig, the experiment that we needed, so we could end up with a game like Far Cry 6, and hopefully Ubisoft doesn't disappoint. Now again, this is all my opinion, and I know there are plenty
plenty of people who watch me and think Far Cry 5 is a masterpiece, and that's fine, you can think that. I personally would heavily disagree with that statement, but you're entitled to your own opinion, and I respect that. If you want to discuss Far Cry 5 and your thoughts on the game, then drop a comment and we can all talk about how we feel about Far Cry 5, and let me know what your hopes are for Far Cry 6. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day, everybody.